Hello and welcome to Paper Clips, your resource for quick videos to learn more about paper space. Today we're going to be discussing the various gradient platform resources available to you on paper space, and these resources include gradient notebooks, workflows, and deployments. Let's start with notebooks. Gradient Notebooks is a web-based Jupyter IDE powered by free and paid GPU instances. Notebooks allow our users to engage with code and data. You can create a notebook with one of the starter tiles or run times, which give you a full set of libraries prepackaged by Paperspace to use within your notebook. We have recommended and also I suggest you sort through all of them to find the ideal runtime for whatever your needs are. Next, we have the machine. These are the instance types that you can use with Gradient Notebooks. You can just sort through the different GPU and CPU offerings to find out what's available to you depending on your subscription plan. Finally, you can use the advanced options to bring in your own workspace files or containerized runtimes in the workspace URL and container name fields, respectively. Within the Notebook IDE thems itself, you can do a lot more than what is just available in Jupyter. To begin, we have a very familiar file manager available here on the left. Access to relevant statistical measures about CPU usage, memory usage, GPU memory, etc. Access to logs. Access to a terminal. And finally, access to the history function, which serves as versioning for your notebook instance. Users should look to notebooks for conducting exploratory data analyses, testing out new or unfamiliar libraries, and creating and preparing to scale up a machine learning or deep learning task. The second resource we're going to talk about is Gradient Workflows. Workflows provide a simple way to automate machine learning tasks within Gradient. All you need to do is install the Gradient GitHub application, and you can then trigger workflows to run with each update to a linked repo using a GitHub action style syntax via YAML files. This helps us work with reproducible, maintainable, and deterministic models without needing to configure manual pipelines. As you make updates to your code over time, you can use the workflows to train new versions of your model and automatically push those new updates simply with code. Finally, gradient deployments allow you to deploy your trained models as a publicly accessible API endpoint. These can be created directly through the deployments resource or the gradient CLI. Deployments can be adjusted for scalability purposes at any time and can be regularly updated by connecting to the, res the resource to a gradient workflow. Now let's look at a sample deployment. Within the deployments tab, you can get information like the status of the deployment, details about the deployment itself and the original specification, and you can get access to the endpoint. In this case, it's a flask app. To conclude, Gradient's three platform resources cover the full end-to-end -end needs for exploring, training, and deploying machine learning and deep learning models. Be sure to test out each of them to see how Gradient can power your next ML application.